this morning, an eye-opener for millennials. More young adults are being diagnosed with cancers because they are obese. Doctors say new research should be a wake-up call. Our Stephanie Harris looked into the types of cancer on the rise and how cutting weight can cut your risk. Just like cigarettes can cause cancer, doctors say so can excess body fat. Carrying around too much weight carries with it an increased risk for 12 different kinds of cancer. The cancers are usually seen in the elderly, but half of them are now appearing at higher rates in millennials and at increasingly younger ages. The fourth leading cause of death in, in the 20 to 40 age group, uh, which is sort of a startling number. Dr. Daniel Arouk with Virginia Oncology Associates explains how fat acts as a fuel for cancer. There's growth factors that are there that aren't in a healthy weight. Uh, for example, there are higher levels of insulin and other uh, hormones, and that stimulates the growth of cancer. A study recently published in the journal Lancet found overall the risk of colon, endometrial, pancreatic, and gallbladder cancers in millennials was about double the rate that baby boomers had it at the same age. It's very traumatic even to be a physician to see when a young adult uh, get such a difficult diagnosis. So. Because of this, colon cancer screening is now recommended at age 45 instead of 50. But there are no screenings for many of these obesity-related cancers, so the death rate is higher. And Dr. Rook says even when they survive, there can be lasting emotional and physical effects. Um, certain types of chemotherapy or radiation can affect fertility. Um, and so, you know, for example, when we have our young adults in particular, uh, we always will make sure that they know they have an option to sperm bank or, or to do um, egg preservation if, for women. Arouk's prescription for prevention is simple. Exercise and eat a low-fat diet with plenty of fruits and vegetables. Now he says any amount of exercise and weight loss is better than none, but if you want to know what your healthy weight and body mass index should be, I added a link with this story on wavy.com. Stephanie Harris, 10 on your side.